Good morning. It is going to be a good day. Hi friends, I hope you're having an inspiring day. It is Thanksgiving long weekend here in Canada and I'm going to spend the day doing some fun stuff. So I figured we could do the fun stuff together. Look how beautiful of a fall day it is today. Blue skies, perfect day for Thanksgiving. Today's actually an active rest day for me, so I would normally be working out first thing in the morning, but today we are gonna take it easier. I'm gonna do a little bit of yoga and meditation. And because it's such a nice day outside, I figured I would get a nice long walk in. It's so pretty outside. I feel like it inspires me to like go out and do things, you know? And then tonight we have some prep work to do because we are having my family over for Thanksgiving dinner. So you are basically family, so you are invited. Not that I have to look cute, for yoga but oh the hair is actually looking okay right now but not really it's gonna go up in a ponytail you know when your hair is so oily at the roots that you literally don't even need hairspray because your hair oil itself is hairspray time to wake up this is the outfit for the morning slash yoga session this is called the exercise dress it is from outdoor voices and it is one of my favorites mostly because of this, so cute. Literally dresses like this with built-in bodysuits slash shorts are my vibe. I also take salsa classes and this dress is so, so good for that. A little cute back moment as well, but the fabric is amazing. Literally called the exercise dress for a reason because you can exercise in it. And I feel like exercising in dresses should be a thing. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but this fabric is so, so nice. It's got this sort of moisture wicking fabric on the outside and then on the inside it is super buttery soft and smooth so literally all of my favorite things. The brand actually has a new collection, it's called their OV Outdoors collection which I absolutely adore. I will show you an outfit that I got from them recently but um, if you are interested in anything from Outdoor Voices, I also have a discount code that will give you 20% off. So if you're looking for any cute pieces that are fashion meets function, hit it up. A very big thank you to my friends at Outdoor Voices for partnering with me and sponsoring this video. I adore their pieces and you know my love for multifunctional activewear slash lifewear. I just feel like outfits should be able to be worn in so many different ways and that's the mark of a good wardrobe piece in your closet. With that said, I think we should get to our yoga session because your girl is procrastinating by talking to you and we need to get our body moving. Complete side note, I just got my extensions on my eyelashes redone and don't they look so nice? I feel like they're so much fluffier. So good. So I am not super fancy. I literally do yoga via YouTube, like all my workouts. I, when I do HIT, I do Pamela Reef and Chloe Ting's workouts. They're awesome. And for yoga, I literally YouTube search 10 minute yoga, 20 minute yoga, 30 minute yoga, and I switch it up however I feel like it. And whenever I feel like it, and honestly, just like YouTube fitness is Bless. So Dave is making some lunch and I am going to do a little bit of reading. So I don't know if I shared this, but at the beginning of the year, I started this thing where I had like little bubbles in my journal and every morning I look back on the day before and see if I had done those little bubbles and they line up to goals that I had set forth for myself at the beginning of the year. So one of the things I really wanted to do was read 12 books, which means that I needed to read like a minimum of 15 to 20 pages per day. The other thing was I wanted to learn a new language. So I chose Portuguese because of our home in Lisbon and doing 15 minutes of that. And then the third bubble was I wanted to be active every day. I think that's the only one that I've really been committed at but because you are on the other side of the screen today and you're kind of hanging out with me I just felt like I needed to be accountable for more of those bubbles. So anyhow I'm gonna do some reading while Dave is cooking um, and then I'm gonna get ready because we're gonna go out on a nice little Thanksgiving adventure in the city today. This is the book that I'm reading right now. It's pretty good. It's very digestible. It's 
not the most i feel like it is a little bit fluffy in terms of like really making an impact on your life but it's good it's good it gets you thinking um it doesn't keep me captivated as much as like my other books like think again or the happiness equation those two are really really good but i bought this and i'm on page 78 so we're gonna finish it well not today but we're gonna read 20 pages today Somebody here made me breakfast, brunch, snack, lunch. <laughs> A little pre-adventure snack lunch. Delicious. My absolute favorite thing to do with avocados is to put balsamic glaze on it. It literally makes something healthy, probably not so healthy, but I love it. To be honest, I don't really eat bagels that often. But when I do, I forget how good they are. Go. It's saucy? Yeah. You made it, what do you mean you made it saucy? The egg is saucy. Oh, it's messy. Yeah, that's why I tried to tell you. It's saucy. <laughs> it's a saucy egg just like me? What does that even mean? I'm saucy. I'm saucy. Sounds like Lizzo's new song. Yep. That she hasn't made yet, but. <laughs> do I have food on my mouth? I always get food in the corners of my mouth. So I'm just about to get changed for Dave and my little walk afternoon date today. Uh, this is the new outfit that I got from Outdoor Voices from their new OV Outdoors collection. And it is so cute. I feel like this is such a look. Like this is a vibe. But the fact that I can also go hiking in this exact outfit is just so cool i love 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 how they've integrated lifestyle and movement kind of together but how cute is this skirt this skirt is just oh. the skirt is called their rec trek skirt it's in their color espresso i adore this sort of belt action it's got this sort of utility look to it i'm definitely gonna be wearing this even outside of just outdoor activities but the fabric itself you can tell could withstand a hike which is amazing it's got two pockets here with zippers classic for hiking style gear and then you've got a back pocket here in the back but this utility skirt is just like a vibe in general i also have the turtleneck here which is called their sheer rib turtleneck it's in this color called sugar but the fabric is so soft literally buttery to the touch oh i just feel like i need a set of pjs in this material i don't know if outdoor voices makes pjs but if they don't this is a psa to them to make pjs because i need a pj set in this exact fabric please here is the skirt with just a little bra top on how cute here is the back situation the belt is fully removable which is nice it sits like right at my waist but i could pull it down lower if i wanted to although i am a person who prefers like a high-waisted skirt i just think it looks cuter really cute let me put on the rib turtleneck you know putting on turtlenecks like a little hack for you put on turtlenecks before you put on any makeup because let me just tell you i've destroyed so many turtlenecks by putting them on after i've done my makeup just no bueno but i have no makeup on today so we are good to go Oh my gosh, this is so buttery soft. I am so obsessed. Here is the full look, my friends. She is sporty. She is cool. She is ready for her city walk. She is obsessed with this skirt slash this combo. Again, they need to make things like a million things in this fabric. This turtleneck fabric. Oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be here doing this. I adore when Companies that make really good activewear make lifestyle outfits because it's always comfortable, it's always functional, and just it just is so versatile. You know what I mean? I just petition for all activewear companies to make lifestyle outfits because I'll just live in this. Okay, so for a walk, I mean, like I'm not gonna do a full face of makeup, but I do like a good tinted moisturizer. So what are we gonna do here? Let's do this one. This is oops. This is the back of a label. Um, this is the Origins Ginseng one. It's my favorite. I've tried a lot of tinted sunscreens, but this one is just really good. 
this is what it looks like on. Well, this is what it looks like on my hand. Can you tell I'm not a beauty girl? Anyways, I just put it on like literally like a cream. I just feel like it evens out my complexion without being like I did my makeup. You know what I mean? I do feel like I need a bit of concealer just under the under eyes just to brighten it up a little bit. Yeah, just like that. Should we blend with a brush? I mean, let's just get just getting so scientific with it. This one from Charlotte Tilbury, I just hit pan. Can you see? A little bit. On the blush side, I hit pan. And I have never hit pan. Well, on very few products I've hit pan. Well, I think that's that's the look. Off on our Thanksgiving walk. The sun is shining, which is really nice. Makes it a lot warmer because it is like 13 degrees now. So we are going to go to one of our favorite neighborhood coffee shops. We're gonna go to Dark Horse on Geary. It's like Dark Horse, but the least busy one, I feel like. There's a bunch of Dark Horses in Toronto, but this one is definitely like the least busy. And I think they're open on Thanksgiving, so hopefully. What are you thankful for, babe, since it's Thanksgiving? My life. Your life? Oh, that's cute. Like, your life because of me? Obviously, of course. Offers. What else would I be? <laughs> what else would you be thankful for? So, my goal every day is to get 10,000 steps in. It normally does not happen, but... Like um, 500 steps? <laughs> five, <laughs> 500 steps between... <laughs> Your my office, and office. <laughs> my office and the bed and then back to my office in the washroom in the kitchen and back to bed and then... Nothing better than coffee. <laughs> Literally nothing better than coffee or a warm matcha latte in my case and a walk in the fall. I think I want to get some baby spread. Baby spread also. Did you notice I threw away the other baby spread that we had at home? No, we have so much stuff that needs I to be thrown out. I don't notice. I did. I did. So came home for a hot second to pick up Simba because we are gonna go for a little walk to one of our favorite trails. We were gonna go to Hyde Park, but then we also realized that we wanted a off-leash dog park for Simba and myself to run around. So we're gonna go to our other favorite, which is Big Bird Park, and I think Simba is excited. Simba, <laughs> Simba, are you excited? Are you excited to go to the park? Are you excited to go walk to the park? <laughs> Simba is is Simba's ready. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go walking buds. There's a turd nugget on his butt. <laughs> Simba! 
So we got home from our walk. Simba had a great time, right Sims? And we are just getting everything ready for our Thanksgiving dinner. We are having my parents over and my aunts and uncles. So we are in, honestly I feel like more of a workout than even just a walk is, uh, or even a hit workout because you're running up and down and up and down. I am sweating. I need another shower. <laughs> Dave says he needs another shower because of all of the activity. You're overworking me. I'm overworking you? I'm overworking him, he says. You're overworking me. <laughs> As he unboxes things from Amazon. Yeah, that I bought for right now. <laughs> working hard or barely working. Mm -hmm. So here's a little rundown of what we got going on for the Thanksgiving feast. A little bit, I guess, not traditional for a Western Thanksgiving, but Dave made his famous Taiwanese beef noodle soup. He has been laboring over this for, I guess, the past 24 hours. He started yesterday. We literally bought this gigantic stock pot to accommodate for it. And these are the fancy uh, new noodle thingies cookers that he got from Amazon. <laughs> yeah, I am definitely not the cook in the family. I am, however, the baker, so I have my mise en place ready uh, for my molten lava cakes. So everything is prepped. My ramekins are all buttered. They haven't been floured yet. I'm gonna do that shortly, but right now we're in cleaning mode, so everything is kind of moved aside so that we can clean. Simba, you're clearly the MVP star of this show. Outfit update, I haven't changed. I have literally been doing all my chores in this exact outfit, but I will be changing for dinner. All right, so a little update. My ramekins are buttered and floured, made of my cake batter that's there. I hope it holds up. I actually haven't done a prep like this before. I've normally just made it and then thrown them straight into the oven so this is all new for me so hopefully these little cakes turn out dave is in his restaurant <laughs> with the uh, nine noodle bowls ready to go here is our makeshift gigantic dining table our dining table is actually technically half of this and even that is already very big for our space um but to accommodate nine to ten people we normally have to get another foldy one I don't know if you can see it, but we just mush them together and then put a tablecloth to make it look like it's gigantic. And according to my watch, um, it has been a very active day for me despite, look at my exercise ring, um, despite it being an active rest day, I feel like I'm going to close all of my rings. This is the outfit for fam dinner. Just a super comfy, cozy, stretchy, most importantly jumpsuit which is literally my hack to all family festivities because I want to look cute but also be really comfortable and this jumpsuit is basically that. I think it's from Lulu's but wearing uh, my new pearl set that Dave got me. Dave got me the necklace for my birthday. My parents got me the earrings and the bracelet. It's actually a really, really cute story, but for another time, Dave also got me, but really, really early on in our relationship, and I am ready for fam dinner. Good morning. It is the morning. I had such a great time yesterday night. I wanted to capture some like family moments, but to be honest, we were just having such a good time that I just totally forgot to take out my vlog camera, which I feel like is the mark of the best time when you're completely offline. I forgot to take story, like literally just didn't take anything. Update on the molten lava cake. It worked because I mean this is this is what's left of it. So yeah. And this is the not so glamorous <laughs> side of hosting. Um is the cleanup afterwards. I had to wait for my dishwasher to unload this morning because I cleaned a batch already, but uh this is still left, so that's what I'm gonna be doing today. But thank you so much for spending the day with me yesterday. It's so nice to just like take my vlog camera around and just hang out with you all day. You know, I feel like these little memories are the ones that I'll look back on 
when I'm old and gray and be like, I remember that day, you know, that was a really good day. So anyhow, sign for you, even if you don't create content for work, uh, to document your memories because I feel like one day when you look back, it'll be really nice. Anyhow, with that all said, I am so thankful for you. I feel like Thanksgiving always brings around a lot of gratitude, even though I feel like it should be celebrated every day, but I'm super grateful for you. I'm grateful for my body to be able to move in it still um, and be able to like function in my body. I feel like that is just something that we take for granted so much until it's too late. So grateful for that, grateful for you, grateful for my family and my friends. Um, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving if you're Canadian and if you're American, I mean, this just gets you into the holiday spirit because your Thanksgiving is coming up soon. But thank you so much for hanging out with me. Friends, I hope you have an inspiring rest of your day. Remember that kindness doesn't cost a thing, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!